Hello, and today we'll be looking at this butane gas lighter. Hello, and welcome back to Paul's Previews. Today we're going to have a look at this honest butane lighter. So let's have a look, see what we've got in the box. So we've got a pamphlet, booklet, manual. This manual appertains to loads of different lighters within the Honest range, not just this particular model. We've also got two spare flints. We've got a spare striker wheel. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. So we've got a spare striker wheel. Uh, to change the flint, just undo that uh, bottom screw there. And then pop a new one in and pop the screw back in. And then we've got the main lighter. Uh, this comes in a nice iridescent blue. It is 83 millimeters long, 10 millimeters in diameter, and weighs 25 grams. To give you some idea of scale, this is an old toys tin, and this will fit into the Altoids tin, which is the reason I bought it uh, to see if I could encompass it into my EDC setup. Also, it will just about fit into one of these. As you can see, it will fit in and close the lid. Right, let's have a look at this lighter in a bit more detail. So at the bottom of the lighter, we've got the uh, flame address adjustment. So you're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver, put in the bottom there, give it a twist uh, to raise or lower the flame height as you require. As normal with these things, this is also the point where you put the butane gas in. So flip the lid over and the striker wheel can be removed and uh, the flint can be changed by undoing that screw at the bottom. That can be put back in. And the lighter works as per normal. Close the uh, lid to extinguish the lighter. So let's talk about the pros of this lighter. Well, it's small, it's compact, it's sturdy, it feels strong, it's made of uh, aluminium, I should imagine, um, and it's very light. It will fit into um, packets of cigarettes, as you've seen, into Altoid tins, so it's suitable for EDC. It can be put into your jeans pockets, uh, purses, bags, anything really. What don't I like about this lighter? Well, I don't like the inconsistency in the burn time. I've had anywhere between three and a half minutes at this and 10 seconds. And it's the inconsistency that I don't like. I mean, I don't know whether it's uh, due to the filling process, but uh, I certainly can't uh, hear any gas going into the lighter. There's no visual indication to say that gas is going into the lighter. Um, I could have a faulty valve on the lighter. I don't know. But uh, it's the inconsistency. 
The other thing I don't like about this is if you do get it to light for a long period of time, then this uh, metal body gets very, very hot to the touch to the point where you've got to put the lighter down. Another thing I don't like about this lighter is uh, when you flip that over, if it accidentally got flipped over, then gas is disappearing out of the lighter. So what do I think of this lighter? Well, I like the colour, I like the iridescent blue, I like the fact that it's small, sleek and compact, but the biggest downside is this inconsistent burn time. And for that reason, it won't be fitting into my EDC stroke Altoids tin, and I'm going to give it a rating of 3 out of 10. So, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you for watching Paul's previews.